So now let's turn to the fibula. We can see the fibula has a head and neck, and then it has a thin shaft and then dilates inferiorly or distally to form the lateral malleolus. So here we can see it's slender, it's positioned posterolaterally to the tibia, and it's attached to the tibia via this interosseous membrane. Proximally, we have an enlarged head, and then we have a narrow neck. The head articulates with the articular surface on the lateral surface of the tibia. So here we can see an articular facet, which allows the head of the fibula to articulate with the tibia. As we go down the shaft, we see we have lateral and we have medial surfaces. We have an interosseous border where the membrane, the interosseous membrane will pass between the two. And we also have this posterior border, which we can see here. Distally, we have a lateral expansion, and this is the lateral malleolus. Here we can see the malleolar fossa, and here we can see the lateral malleolus here. And this, combined with the medial malleolus, forms the articulation with the talus of the foot to form the ankle joint. You just completed your first video of the world's best medical exam preparation. Lecturio brings the knowledge of worldwide leading medical experts and teaching award winners to your PC, tablet, or smartphone. Prepare yourself and check your progress with thousands of quiz questions, customized to US MLE standards. And the very best, you can get in touch with our medical experts personally. Visit Lecturio.com now and continue with the most inspiring medical education around the globe, anytime, anywhere.